This Gogodala traditional house was burned down last Saturday during the East Peak Provincial Day celebrations here in Port Mosby, organized by the East Peak Students Association at the University of Papua New Guinea. The significance of this traditional house lies deeply within the social, cultural and spiritual lifestyle of the Gogodala people. It is Gogodala cultural identity. It is also spiritual culture of Gogodala people religious culture, as well as social culture, as well as physical culture. When the house was bent down, the news spread to the Gogo Dallas in Port Mosby and also in Western Province. The long house plays a significant role in the communities and when the news reached them, they mourn. To the Gogo Dallas, the building is no ordinary building, as explained by the local leader, Duni Kolea. You got low, I thin, by me talk all same, this la, it's only house for Gogodala tribe. The Gogodala longhouse accommodates the entire village. The main Gogodala tribe is subdivided into two sub-tribes that live in both sides of the longhouse. The two sub-tribes have four clans each, allowing intermarriages to take place within the tribe. Back in the village, if someone burnt the house, he will be killed instantly, prompting a big fight or pay compensation to its clan. But with this incident, the Assanist is from a different province, prompting the Gogodala tribesmen to ask for reconciliation and compensation. We will be approaching say Michael Somare in our formal documentations through the National Museum. We are forwarding all grievance statements and we are forwarding two major uh, demands. Damages is a loss of pride to Gogodara people. Sipikia, Kukim, all eight Gogodara tribe. Quintana Lomp, National MTV News.